Hi everybody, welcome to today's video. I figured I would do like a really quick little how I do my everyday five minute like makeup. Um, like today, it is currently 1240. I need to go to my office. I have lots of things that I need to do, but I had to work this morning and so I'm just now getting ready. Uh, I got the hiccups, which is rude, but typical. <laughs> Anyways, I figured out I would also show you how I use the Patrick Toffer face um, foundation. I have mine in the shade medium one. I've been using this pretty much every day and really enjoying it. And I think that this is a really nice product. So I figured I would show you guys that do a little like five minute face. I also used this yesterday, the Glossier Future Do, which I have not used in a really long time. And so I was just like kind of getting back into the glass skin sort of a look. My skin, thank God, has been so good. Um, I know you guys like don't see it in real time. So many times you'll hear me talk about my skin and you're like, oh my gosh, you were just complaining about that. But if you've ever struggled with acne or like just skin issues in general, then you will get my pain. But my skin has been really good recently, thank God, um, because I've been very consistent in my skincare routine with face reality and some other things. And I'm just really like thrilled about it, to be honest with you. So that's that. And yeah, so, oh, first thing I'm gonna do is take my e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light 26N. I love this concealer. I think that it is absolutely phenomenal. I love that it has a little brush applicator. I love that it's really light. Um, it's light coverage. It's light feeling on the skin. It's just a beautiful concealer. I bought it in another shade the other day, actually, um, just to have. Um, so I just pat that in around my eyes. A lot of the times I will use a beauty sponge, but I do not have one that's damp. And also, I don't really care um, because this formula works really well with your fingers, works well with really anything. Um, and it's just easy. So that's my step number one. Always that concealer. And if there's any other places that you need to spot conceal or something, like around my nose, it's usually kind of a little red. That's something I'll do. But one thing that I really recommend doing for um, natural looking makeup is leaving your forehead um, pretty much with no makeup on it. That's one of the best things you can do because your forehead is a place that gives away your forehead and like your pores right here is kind of give, what gives away whether or not you're wearing a lot of makeup or... Um, powder or foundation or anything like that so that's that that's one of the reasons that if I'm wearing foundation I love the oxygenetics and I really love this Patrick Ta because it does not look like foundation at all um it looks just glam but not heavy it's like the perfect the perfect foundations no lie so I love them I got some little eye boogies so that's step number number one is concealing um, anything that I want to be concealed. Step number two, usually for me, is using this bronzer. So this is my Dior, Pro Dior powder in the shade 5N. Um, I do need to pick up a lot of shade, and I've said that multiple times, but I've still yet to pick up a lot of shade. So I'm just going to use that and like dust it lightly all over my face. The reason I like this so much is because it is a powder, and so instead of it being a bronzer where, I don't know, it's just a little bit easier to build up, the no powder powder just is really really lightweight and it just provides me with like the perfect undertone of um like a tan like it just looks really natural on my skin it wears really nicely throughout the day and just gives me like a flush to my cheeks which i love so i'm just going to do a little bit of that and i've actually been using this blush which is from mac this is the mac glow play blush in the shade um so natural it's just got a beautiful color beautiful texture and like a luminosity to it so i've been taking it on this brush this is the grande cheek brush from a-r-a-c-e-l-i i don't know how you pronounce that brand you tell me i don't know so anyways i've been just going to take that on my brush and fluff it onto my cheeks i've been into trying a bunch of new blushes lately now don't get me wrong i'm ride or die for my um, Cheek to Chic Charlotte Tilbury Ecstasy Blush. I will not be living my life without it. But I'm always trying to make up, trying new things. And I just love blush. Like blush is one of those things that I just adore. So that's that. One of the next things I'm going to do is use my Future Do. Why is my hair everywhere? I need to pop my back too. I'm going to use my Future Do. Which, like I said, I haven't used it in a long time, except whenever I used it yesterday, I was like, why don't I use this? I'm just going to use a teeny tiny bit, like not much at all, and place it on my cheeks, like so, and pat that in, 
And then also on my eyelids. I used to do a glossy eye look all the time and I kind of miss it to be honest with you. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. I do think that it is necessary to do your eyebrows when you are doing any, like, any amount of makeup whatsoever. Like just doing your eyebrows makes a big difference. And it makes me feel more put together and like makes me feel like I look better. So my eyebrows will be done. But you know what? I can't find my eyebrow gel and it makes me want to run away. I found it. No worries. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow in the shade Neutral Brown. I'm always using this, to be honest with you. I just follow my natural brow shape. Let me bring you in a little bit. I follow my natural brow shape. And then right there where I have my scar, I just fill it in a little bit. And then same thing to my other side. So that's that. Then I'll take my... Um, Sephora Collection Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown that I always use. And if there's any little places I want to fill in, I like to fill in the front of my brow just a little bit. I'm using my viewfinder. Okay, now I'm going to use my Patrick Ta um, foundation. I'm also going to use the brush that it like that's made for it. I really like the brush, to be honest with you. So, the only thing that I do is I dip the little dome side of brush into the product and I use it as my mirror as well which is kind of annoying that it, the things on there the little plastic piece but whatever and I literally just barely do it and like to dust it anywhere that I want some coverage and that is all that I do I'll do it around my nose just a tiny bit and I just feel like it blurs out any imperfections and looks really 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 nice then I'll take the little setting powder on the setting brush and dust over everything. I feel like it looks so beautiful and it's just nice. So that's that. A lot of the times I'll just line my lips a little bit. This is Milani All Natural. And then I'm just going to go in with the shade Slippers from Fawn Beauty. If it'll focus. This shade actually just restocked. It's a beautiful, just like neutral shade. It's actually pretty clear. Now it's up to you whether or not you want to wear mascara or not. Um, I do think I'm gonna wear mascara today just because I have to go places later. So I'm going to line my eyes just a little bit. And then I'm going to do my mascara. As per usual, I'm going to be using my Ilia Fullest Volume Mascara. Um, I either use that or the L'Oreal Telescopic. And so I'm going to be using that. And I'll be right back. Okay, I did my mascara and I actually did end up using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because I feel like it has extreme length and the, the Ilia is just like is more so for volume hence the name, um, but I might go over it with my Ilia. But that is pretty much my makeup that I do. It takes me less than 10 minutes, especially whenever I'm like not talking to a camera and recording my every move. And so it's just a really pretty nice makeup look. It's very simple. The skin looks really nice and fresh. It doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup at all, really. It's just like, oh, she has nice skin. She looks nice, you know? So that's the sort of look that I go for. And I figured I would show you guys how I get it. Now, of course, all the products that I use will be linked down below as well as anything that you will need links to. Shop Fawn Beauty is down there, all the good things. So make sure to like and subscribe before you leave if you enjoyed the video. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day.